What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, son. Today, we got to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Wizards because it was a lot of things to unpack. And it's a lot of things I really want to unpack against that game because I think it's a lot of stuff we learned, right? And uh, I think a lot of people wasn't necessarily down. Yes, we wanted to win. All cast, man. We're competitive. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it was it was a loss that we understood why we lost. You get what I'm saying? But with all that being said, though, I need y'all to make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. And when y'all are done subscribing to my channel, I need y'all to go to my Instagram page and follow that too so you can get updated because we're going to be back in full swing right we're gonna have a podcast coming soon we're gonna have some other videos coming soon we got a lot of stuff coming you get what i'm saying but with all that being said we gotta jump into the topic at hand and talk about these cleveland cavaliers now i think it's appropriate to talk about colin sexton's uh injury first because it was it came out that colin sexton tore his meniscus right and he's gonna be out for an extended period of time which a lot of people was disappointed because a lot of people was anticipating colin sexton to answer a lot of the questions regarding his contract right are we gonna shop him are we gonna trade him and a lot of those questions i was asking because i was not sure if colin sexton was worth the money he was projected to go right then it came out rumored that colin sexton potentially was going to get a five-year extension but then that fifth year was in question because both sides just was not agreeing upon um the numbers right but i wish colin sexton a speedy recovery right i wish him well because i do not wish anybody an injury even if he's not on my team or not like those type of injuries you know i i wouldn't wish that on my enemy you get what i'm saying and nobody should like we should be wishing for colin sexton for a speedy recovery i'm praying for him because that's unfortunate you get what i'm saying because this was the year where a lot of people assumed Colin Sexton was going to make a name for himself, right? He was either going to make or break his his uh, his claws for getting that type of money. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, it is a stall for the Cleveland Cavaliers as well because we are going to miss out on a potential all-star tier guard in Colin Sexton, but we got to move on, right? We got to move on, but we got to wish Colin Sexton the best, a speedy recovery, and wish him well. So now we got to talk about what did we learn? from playing against the Washington Wizards last night. We learned that the Cleveland Cavaliers need more experience. Is that a problem? No. That just means we have a young team with a lot of potential, right? And it was a lot of plays that I feel like we could have handled better, especially down in the stretch. The last, it was like a minute and 12 seconds. I think we could have did a lot of things better defensively and offensively. Defensively, I'm going to do a little breakdown. But offensively, I think Garland could have took a better shot. Could he have hit that three? Absolutely. But I think he had enough time to get an even better shot that could have closed that game out. You get what I'm saying? And this is the play I want to talk about because this is why we lost, right? Because if we stop it right here, right? This is what I mean by the our team needs more experience because as good of a defender Evan Mobley is, right? As good as the defender he is, has been projected to be, Evan Mobley shouldn't have came up that high. Evan Mobley should have just stuck on Kuzma because Kuzma was killing us, right? And worst case scenario, Bradley Bill do uh, drive and get a two. We can die by a two, right? We're up two. You get what I'm saying? We cannot sacrifice and give up threes, right? And now what I would have probably did differently, I actually would have had Jared Allen kind of on that block or maybe a little, maybe one or two steps above the block just in case he had to help out with Bradley Bill. But realistically, I would have had him, yeah, about two steps uh, from that block on that side, right? I would have had Mobley stick on Kuzma and I would have kept everything how it is because if Montrez were to even uh, cut and hit two, I wouldn't have cared because I would have been willing to die by that. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like this is where we got to get more experience on our team defensively so we can understand what we're going to do moving forward. And as we see this play unfold, it was just a collapse of defense, right? Our defense collapsed. But I want you all to know, I don't think it's anything we should be panicking about. Honestly, I think we should be proud of our Cavaliers, right? Yes, they could have had a better fourth quarter, especially that last minute. Um, but I think they did a lot. They showed us a lot. They've improved a lot from these past coming seasons. Jared Allen has improved a lot. Evan Mobley is impressive. <laughs> Dylan Willer, if he can stay healthy, can be very, very impressive for us. Um, I think the Cleveland Cavaliers is showing us what they can be if we give them some time and we just grow. We just grow. You know what I'm saying? If we grow, I think we got some potential here. Yes, we need some more shooters. I will stand by that. 
But uh, we just got to let our Cleveland Cavaliers grow. You get what I'm saying? Um, we're going to have games where this happens because we're a young team. You get what I'm saying? Rubio it, Rubio and Kevin Love is technically the oldest. Well, no, they are the oldest players on the team. And I, that's it <laughs> after that. And Kevin Love not there. I, I'm pretty sure he's out, you know, um, on the court, you know, you're speaking to him. But, like, Rubio, I mean, he's really the, the floor general, and he's the one telling him this is how it's going to be done. So we just got to give him some time. We got to give him some time to grow, get some experience, understand what we got to do, especially on those type of stretches, right? Especially since we don't got Colin Sexton, because technically Colin Sexton would be your closer. We got to uh, find another closure. We got to get another player experience with that ability. And this is where the positive comes in for the Cleveland Cavaliers and why I'm so proud of the Cavs. So tell me down in the comments below, what did y'all expect from the Cavs? What did y'all love from the Cavs? And what do you think we can improve on this season moving forward? That's Atlantis with that money.